John Travolta had his biggest film success with the musical Grease, and now, at long last, he is back with another one, a movie version of the Broadway hit Hairspray. This time, however, he plays a woman. Our Jess Cagle talked with him. I can't stop eating, your hairline's receding, hey. and soon you'll have nothing <laughs> at all. Yeah. So you'll wear a wig while I roast a pig. Hey. Musicals don't have any forgiveness to them. They have to be done expertly. Otherwise, people don't buy them, do you know? And I came off the most successful musical in history, and even though it took 30 years to decide to do another one, um, I didn't want to ruin that, uh, that, that cachet. She swam by me, she got a cramp. In 1978, Travolta teamed up with Olivia Newton-John for the film classic Grease. It has since gone on to make close to $400 million worldwide and worked its way into the hearts of generations of fans, including Travolta. I fell in love with it because of all of the things I identified with it as a school life, as of the, the different groups that form the tough people and the, the, the kind of sweeter people and the mixing of that and the music and the, the distinctive look and uh, the colors and all that mix and that of course indescribable essence of an era that only a movie can depict. Do you have a favorite scene in Greece? Everybody has their favorite number. Like yeah. mine is, you're the one that I want. Yeah. Goes the power, you're supplying. It's electrifying. I think if I put them in order it would be you're the one that I want. Summer Night, Sandy, Grease Lightning, or something like that. Those would be the four uh, favorite of mine. Earlier that year, Travolta picked up his first Academy Award nomination for playing weekend dance king Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever. The solo from Saturday Night Fever I love because I worked on it for nine months and <laughs> perfected it. And then uh, I can even remember that it was being cut in a in the in the final version in a close-up and I had a fit and I and I even cried at the premiere I mean not the premiere the first showing and I asked if I could re-edit it because I couldn't believe that uh, they had cut it in close-up it wasn't very difficult I just went back and said just stay in the master until I do this thing where I cross the screen then you can go a mid shot and stay in the master to me that was the icing on the cake that that solo it was the the set piece, it was the heartthrob of that movie. Tracy, hey baby, look at us. Where is there a team that's happening? Fabulous! And Travolta is once again dancing on the big screen, playing the 300-pound Baltimore housewife Edna Turnblad in the new big screen version of the hit Broadway musical, Hairspray. It's probably safe to say that you had never danced, although you've done a lot of dancing, you've never actually done it in a fat suit and heels. True. Was that a big adjustment for you? The heels were difficult. But you know, there's a lot of energy uh, in dressing in those layers. In uh, 1962, uh, I certainly observed my mother wearing layer after layer, and it was always exhausting for her. Dancing is not your future. One day you're going to own Edna's Occidental Laundry. The role of Edna has a long history of being played by men in drag, but Travolta didn't want to play it just for laughs. He wanted Edna to be a real woman. His transformation is remarkable and had a strange effect on the crew. I was flirted with quite a bit. Really? Yeah. Were you hit on inappropriately? Yes, and of course I was uh, inappropriate back. I, I didn't seem to mind. I offered myself up quite easily and I thought, well, gee, would I have been a slut or what, what would I have been if I were a woman? I got a little scared myself a little bit there. Uh, but because it wasn't really me, it was easy to allow these, these uh, people to uh, touch me. And what did your kids think when they, when oh, they saw you in costume? They loved it, especially my daughter, uh, Ella, uh, because I couldn't get out of wardrobe. So she and would she's, have she's lunch seven? She's seven. Yeah. So I would, she fell in love with Edna, but uh, there was this other when, when I was half dressed, there was a flap from the prosthetic. Right. And we nicknamed that, that mid character Flapper. And she didn't <laughs> like Flapper, but she liked Edna. Flapper was probably a little disturbing. <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> because it was me and a flap. For the early show, Jess Cagle, CBS News, New York. Hairspray opens nationwide today. What a career he continues to have. So well deserved. He is so multi talented, Hannah. Boy, doesn't that take you back? 
Seen oh, Greece and Saturday Night Fever. What's your favorite number from Greece? Summer Nights. Me I too. Love, really? Me too. Yep. Jules. And we both love hairspray, so cannot wait to see that. And we're going to have more from John Travolta on Monday.